Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Life Hands On. Today we're going to plant some sugar cane. This is an area of our property that's seasonally wet. In our rainy season, water would stand back here. And so I've got a friend in the tree business. And they have come and they've dumped mulch back here. And I've got a little bit left from our sugar cane crop from last year and I'm cutting the stalks up and I'm going to plant them. Okay, this is a stalk of sugar cane and each one of these joints produces an eye which will come out and make a stalk of sugar cane. Some people dig a trench and cover it up. I just lay it on top of the mulch and cover it with more mulch. And last year I got a really good harvest from about 25 stalks that I laid down. The element of multiplication that's in creation is amazing. You got one stalk of sugar cane here that can produce so many more. So you can have some for consumption, some for uh, planting for the next year, even some for sharing. Okay, I put a step in fence post here so I would know where I'll put my last piece of sugar cane to start the new row. It's really quite simple. Just lay it down on the ground like this. And cover it with mulch. I'm going to save some of it for chewing. We'll film some of that in a little bit. But right now, I got to plant some sugar cane. And then I cut them up in short pieces it's because when you have a crooked piece like this it's sort of hard to make a straight row so when you shorten them it makes it easier sugarcane crop was about the lowest maintenance of any of the things that I've grown. I didn't fertilize it. I watered it very rarely. 
and we had an extended dry period. It looked like there was a little bit of brown getting on the leaves, so I put the sprinkler on it. Didn't weed it. Plant it close enough together, it sort of chokes everything out that would grow up around it. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting a cane juicer next year and having some fresh sugar cane juice. This one has more distance in between the joints. I'm going to take it in and cut it up for chewing cane because when you cut it up for chewing cane, you cut the section out in between the joints. Then you peel it, slice it up and chew on it. And so you get more chewing cane for less work when you have a large distance between the joints. We've chopped up all that I'm going to plant today. Now I'm going to lay them down in rows and we'll cover them with mulch. Okay. Are you serious? Come on, Zoe. Stop digging holes underneath the tripod. was ever underneath the tripod, tripod was very interesting to the puppy dog so that's why the camera fell over she was digging up underneath the tripod and it fell over you know I've completed laying out the sugarcane stalks I'm gonna get the tractor with the grapple on it put some mulch on it and it looks like we have maybe two more plantings left in the sugarcane crop over there probably going to five to six times my area of sugarcane and we should have plenty of sugarcane next year so thank you for watching we're going to cut up some sugarcane inside Sugarcane is in the grass family. You cut it up into pieces and chew on it. It's very sweet. It looks similar to celery. Bite it off. It's 
it's almost impossible to chew up to swallow. I guess if you did swallow it, it would be like running some steel wool through your insides, which may be a good thing, but... <clears throat> the video please subscribe give us a thumbs up tell others to watch thank you